Hello, I'm Dr. Robin Chutkan with Georgetown Hospital, and I'm a member of the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. The ASGE represents nearly 11,000 members who are all expertly trained in endoscopic procedures like colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is a procedure that we use to look at the large intestine, also called the large bowel or colon. Colonoscopy has been around since the 1970s and is a safe, effective, and well-tolerated exam. There are about 14 million colonoscopies done in the U.S. each year. A colonoscope is a flexible tube with a small camera and a light on the end that allows a doctor to see inside your colon. Pictures are transferred from the colonoscope to a TV screen that your doctor watches to find abnormalities. While colonoscopy is most commonly used to look for colon cancer, or more ideally, polyps, which are small growths in the colon that can eventually turn into cancer, colonoscopy can also be used to evaluate and treat many other diseases, like inflammatory bowel disease, hemorrhoids, and other disorders of the large intestine. Let's go back for a moment to colon cancer. Every individual has a 6% risk of developing colon cancer over his or her lifetime. Colonoscopy can prevent colon cancer by finding polyps and removing them before they can turn into cancer. It is the best test we have for screening for colon cancer and is the only test that can both find and remove polyps at the same time. In the following video presented by the ASGE, you'll learn more about what to expect before, during, and after a colonoscopy. Before having a colonoscopy, you'll receive instructions on what to do leading up to the colonoscopy well in advance of the procedure. These instructions will focus on what you may or may not eat, what to do with medications you're currently taking, and how to drink the bowel prep. You'll be advised of the diet and the cleansing routine to follow before the procedure. Cleansing with the bowel prep begins the day before the exam. There are many different types of bowel preps, but typically they require clear liquid diet for one entire day before the procedure and laxatives that are taken the night before the procedure. You can do your regular activities a day before, but you'll need your evening free to take the bowel prep. Following the instructions about diet and bowel prep can have a tremendous impact on the colonoscopy. A well cleaned out colon is likely to result in a colonoscopy that is quicker, safer, more comfortable, and more effective. A proper bowel prep is very important so that your doctor can clearly see the colon and can identify polyps or other abnormalities. A poor bowel prep where the doctor is unable to see the colon may result in the procedure being canceled. Eating before your colonoscopy could cause serious complications if your doctor doesn't know that you've not followed the diet and bowel prep instructions. Your doctor will also need to know what medications you're taking before your procedure. You may be asked to stop some of those medications before the exam. Before the procedure, the medical staff will provide you with an informed consent document to sign. This document goes over the risks, the benefits, and the alternatives of the procedure. Most colonoscopies are performed with the patient under sedation, which involves getting medication through the vein to make you sleepy. Colonoscopy is a well-tolerated procedure. Though you may feel some sensations during the exam and a little bit of gas and bloating afterwards, most patients are not even aware that the procedure has happened when they wake up. Be sure to make arrangements in advance to take a day off from work and for someone to take you home after the exam. You will not be allowed to drive and you may need assistance if taking public transportation because of the sedation you've received during the procedure. Also, it's not safe or advisable to go back to work the same day after the procedure if you've received sedation. Don't hesitate to ask questions of the medical team performing your colonoscopy. ASGE provides a list of questions to ask your endoscopist before the procedure. These are available at www.asge.org. Well, I actually have been putting this off for a long time. You know, who wants to go through this? <laughs> And uh, my wife has actually been encouraging me for the last probably couple of years to do it. So um, after uh, putting it off for so long, I decided, well, you know, I'm 51 now, so I better do the responsible thing and actually, you know, take care of it. So here I am. Colonoscopy 
colonoscopy is done in a procedure room equipped with a colonoscope and a TV screen that shows your doctor the images from inside your colon. Before the exam, you'll have a needle placed into a vein in your arm in order to give you the sedation to make you sleepy, as well as any other medications you might need. This will make you comfortable throughout the entire exam. Many patients may fall asleep completely and may not remember anything about the exam. The scope we use is a tube, a flexible tube, that has a camera and a light source on the end. In addition, there is a channel that allows us to pass our instrument through the scope if we need to take a biopsy or take a polyp off. The scope does have dials, which allows us to move it left, right, up, and down so that we can guide it through the colon. The scope is inserted into the rectum after we do a rectal exam and then passed all the way to the cecum, which is the beginning of the colon. Well, typically we're looking for different things on different patients. If it's just a screening colonoscopy, we're looking for polyps, which are little growths that can turn to colon cancer. And other patients who have symptoms, such as rectal bleeding, we're looking for a source of bleeding. Uh, in patients who have abdominal pain or diarrhea, we may be looking for inflammation or a cause of those symptoms as well. Colonoscopy typically lasts less than one hour. Unexpected events or complications are rare, but they may occur. Complications of colonoscopy may include missing a lesion, making a tear in the lining of the colon, which is called a perforation, bleeding, or having a bad reaction to the medication used for sedation. Your doctor will be looking for abnormalities such as bleeding, polyps, and cancer. It's not uncommon to find polyps. Approximately one-third of men and one-quarter of women undergoing colonoscopy to screen for colon cancer will have polyps. Polyps are important because a majority of colon cancers develop from colon polyps. Most polyps are benign, meaning they are not cancerous. However, these polyps have the potential, in some cases, to turn into cancer, so it's best to have them removed. Colonoscopy removes the polyps before they can ever become cancer. Well, it, um, it went quite well. Um, they were very professional in there and made it very easy for me and um, no pain at all. After your procedure, you'll be closely watched for about 30 minutes. You'll be allowed to have something to drink and a light snack immediately following the procedure, and you can generally resume your normal diet. Someone from the team performing your colonoscopy will speak with you before you leave and will go over the results of the test, as well as any medication changes and the follow-up plan. Before you leave, you will know at least the preliminary results of your exam. It's quite common to have tissue removed during the test, which is called a biopsy. This does not necessarily mean that anything is wrong. Any tissue removed will be sent to a doctor called a pathologist for them to look at under a microscope. These results will not generally be ready right away, and they take several days to be completed. Before leaving the doctor's office, a member of the colonoscopy team will suggest how best to check on those results. You'll also receive instructions for what to do once you arrive back safely at home. Because of the effect of the sedatives, you'll be asked not to drive or go back to work and not to participate in any significant physical activities. You can return to normal activities the next day. After the procedure, it's common to have a little mild bloating and gas, but this usually goes away within a few hours. Although complications are rare, you will be given a number to contact your doctor if you have any abdominal pain, bleeding, fever, or any other problems related to the procedure. Colonoscopy is a safe, effective, and well-tolerated procedure that can potentially save your life. If you have any questions or concerns, ask your doctor. And for more information about colonoscopy and to find a qualified doctor in your area, log on to www.asge.org. To learn more about colon cancer, log on to the ASG's Colon Cancer Awareness website at www dot screen for colon cancer dot org and if you would like to make a donation in your physician's name to advance endoscopic research visit the ASG website